regarding the Veterans Benefit Administration, the claims backlog, error rate, and lack of accountability are totally unacceptable. Yet the VFW continues to hope that technology and leadership will improve what is currently broke. For years, the VA claimed a backlog that only numbered six, seven, eight hundred thousand claims. Yet the VA's own Monday morning report shows two million claims of all kinds in the system, from original compensation and pension claims to education and those on appeal. We urge Congress to continue exercising the oversight by VBA's workload, the total workload, just not what VA admits is 125 days or older. We acknowledge that one of the most difficult things to do in any large organization is to ensure its employees, both rank and file and supervisors, are held accountable for their performance. VBA continues to refine its training standards and does periodically test job knowledge, but it is still easier to be disciplined for conduct and performance issues. This is because production is easier to track than quality which is why the overall quality rating of the VA regional office continues to hover around 86% and is far worse in other ROs. VBA needs to use data to identify employees with weak skills and retrain them. Those who cannot or will not improve need to be replaced. And let me say, in working for the federal government, especially the Department of Veteran Affairs, should be seen as a privilege, not a right. The need for accountability goes upstairs too, which is why we encourage your committee to ask VBA why specifically it failed to address problems in Baltimore, Oakland, Los Angeles as soon as they became apparent years ago. And we ask that you find other out whether VBA leadership has any plans to identify those veterans who received wrong decisions and make them right. The VFW sees the Veterans Benefit Management System as the best opportunity to finally address the claims backlog, the rating quality problem, but we have reservations about the aggressive implementation schedule. VBMS provides daily glimpses of the operating system it was meant to become. But with any major computer system, problems continue to pop up with newly, uh, added regional, newly added regional offices. 20 ROs currently have the system and VBA plans to install the rest by the end of June. We, we believe that this rapid but perhaps premature deployment of VBMS will actually slow production as more glitches are identified and IT technicians scramble to fix them. I have the great privilege as National Commander to visit VFW posts and veterans around the world. The claims backlog and the accuracy ratings decision are the number one complaint. So let me be perfectly clear about this. It is absolutely, absolutely imperative the VA get this system right.